Greetings. This is your senator and friend, Alicia Chucky Hansen, keeping in touch with my people. Well, once again, I come before you delighted of the progress we are making between the Senate and the uh, majority minority as one so that we can be able to resolve the problems of the Virgin Islands, particularly the issue relative to the downfall, the deficit, as well as making sure our people get the 8% uh, that they well deserve. As you will recall, over the few weeks, there was a debate of whether or not you could get back the 8%. I maintain that if we work together, if we get the suggestions that I've made and others have made and put it collaboratively together, we can bring results and answers to this problem. The only part that I don't like is that we are not treating this issue like a major crisis. I suggested, and they're not listening, that we are to stop the clock like the days of Ruby Rouse, Senator John Bell, uh, Liliana, where we had David Jones, uh, Redfield, Lawets, uh, Roebuck, even Lauren Berry. We stop the clock. By that I mean, if you go in on Monday morning at 8 a.m., you stop the clock, take all the battery out of the clock, and if you have to work until midnight, five days later, two weeks later, you don't come out until that problem is resolved. And then you will find that the clock will still say that Monday morning at 8 a.m. That's what we mean by stopping the clock. It was the old way of doing things, but it worked. This thing about having a meeting today, then five days later we come back to discuss the same old business, and then we return again three or five days later, and then the anxiety of our people continues to go up because they don't know what is taking place. And what they do know is that they need their monies and they need it now. I will not vote for any extension of the 8% against our people because I know the hardship that our people are going through. It even affects the private sector because if government don't have money to spend, those in the private sector will definitely get affected. People will not spend in the grocery stores as much. They will not spend in the retail store, perfume stores, whatever store, they will not spend. Therefore, those employees will be affected Financially, because those in the private sector depend on everyone collectively to pay their bills and to spend in their stores in order that the owners can have money to pay them. It's as simple as that. On the other issue last week of WAPA, ridiculous. I mean, they had the bonds, uh, the bond owners who were ready to pull back the bonds because some senators got up and said, we are to sell WAPA. I think it is by design that WAPA is continuing to have its faults because they know that eventually everybody's going to say, oh, I can't take it no more. Therefore, let's sell WAPA. WAPA is there for our people. It's the foundation. It's our assets. We also have to think about those employees that have invested their years into WAPA and all that it has created for the people of the Virgin Islands. WAPA is not the problem per se. It is the management that continue not to seek the right solutions in order to resolve the high cost of the LIAC. I've passed legislation to make any company that comes in here in the Virgin Islands to seek to provide us with power that they will not have to pay gross receipt taxes just like Covenza has never had to pay it. Therefore, making those companies competitive for that issue and they will not have to pass on that cost to the people of the Virgin Islands. I also want to indicate to you, this is incredible, a fight at the Juan Luis Hospital. This past week, believe it or not, this did not take place in a parking lot. This was in the OR. You know what's the OR? The operating room. We need some answers and we need it now. We need Attorney Russell to report to the legislature and tell us what took place in that uh, operating room. We need to have the chief operating officer and also the CEO as well as the chairman of the board report to the hospital. How can we have any doctor threatening another doctor, uh, disregarding the patients, the employees, the other nurses and doctors and offer to FMK kick 
everybody up there, so and so, in their presence, and they're going to get three days suspension? I believe not. Therefore, look out for more. This is your senator and friend, Alicia Chucky Hansen, keeping in touch with my people. Thank you.